Okay, this is your very first a render a week video. And every, basically the whole point I did this is for motivation because I love Blender and if you're watching this I'm sure you'd like Blender too. But I never really finished projects completely. I'm also going to make this interesting by giving you tips, advice, stuff which I found difficult. I mean, I'm not amazing. But, I mean, I have been using Blender since the user interface update, since it's looked like this. This here. Mm, oh, well, I'll start from the beginning. Very first one. Bit of it, little bit rusty. Okay, this is the render. I used uh, the Blender Cycles. It's, it was only about 250 at the time. That's why there's lots of grain. I mean, it's not amazing. This here, I tried to do. I tried to do this in the Blender internal before I really knew what cycles was, and it was so bad. It honestly, was this went light grey, this went black. It didn't have any of this shine. The candles I know are not very good. They're just a cylinder with the edge put down a bit. They're just a test reflection in shadows. Very simple materials. This here was just this the sword bit was just a silvery grey with a gloss shader. This is an uh, render cycles render rather than blender render. Mm, that's that's quite annoying to say. This here is a gloss shader with a yellow colour, but I increased the roughness a bit, otherwise you couldn't get as much definition. The red here, similar thing, just a different colour to that. This here was originally gloss, but I made that very rough. Otherwise, you'd, with that, you didn't get any detail. These here are just diffuse, and the bottom is just a velvet. I mean, I know it does actually look like it's hovering a bit. I don't know whether it's... I'll have a check. Yeah, it's not. Okay, my model... All of these planes here are lights. I mean, my lighting technique probably isn't very good, and I know I will get lots of comments going, oh, your lighting's rubbish, why don't you just do one big one? That's because this is the first time I've ever done lighting, or proper, li I've tried to do proper lighting. The model, something, this is about six months ago, or maybe less than that. This was something I really had struggled with, and this is how to start. What I did is I box modeled this, and then, using just one vertice at a time I extruded around the edges of this at different heights at the height compared to this I'm touching the screen with my finger you can't see that this thing here parts of that the height I wanted it went round uh, details which needed a uh, heightening just heightened and then same with the handle same with the end it was all originally one model then everything which was a different material, I edit mode, pressing tab, and then highlighted what I wanted. I think I did it on faces easier. And highlighted what I wanted, press P, just the letter, oh no, press P, and separate by selection. That just makes it very easy. You should always use a different model for every material you're doing. So that's the model. Candles, not very good. You can't see this in the render, but there's a slight sculpt there. Done this plane up above, and if I put it into texture, not texture, material, I th oh, you can't see it unless I go into rendered, which I'm not going to do because it will break my computer when I'm recording at the same time. But that there is a very simple brick texture. If I go into materials, it's actually two shaders in there. There's a diffuse one with a brick texture and a shader of a slight brown colour. And just editing these things just gave the reflection a little bit more interesting. Made the reflection more interesting. How to make these lines on it. Okay. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Probably not very long. I will... I mean, I only did find out about render cycles about 
18 hours ago. It was about 4 o'clock yesterday. That's more than that. My maths is meant to be good, but it's, it's failing me. Okay. And I thought it would be really difficult. I thought it was just the mode editor. I thought this... No, not that. This here was cycles. Well, this is cycles. But I thought this view was cycles. Didn't realise. that Blender render... And th with this is not cycles. I did not know that. So for those of you wondering, oh, I've got this tu material tutorial. I don't know what to do. It's saying add in a shader. Cycles render. Brilliant. It is so easy. I mean, I might actually do a quick tutorial. I mean, just to show you how easy it is. Okay. Cube. I'm going to make this a shiny cube. Cycles render. I'm going to add a plane. Put it down a bit. Scale it to this here, and then I'm obviously going to delete that light. Point lights are not very realistic. Add a plane light, turn it on the X90. Very quick, sound quality is probably going a bit. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to. Okay, now I'm going to add a t material to that, an emission material. That just makes it a light. Put on about 60, should do. Put this here, put a velvet material. This is what I did for the base. Velvet, I might make a nice light. Uh, what the? Oh, thank you. A velvety, a light blue velvet. And here I'm going to make gold. Okay, so I'm going to. Oh, what I did just there, because this was made before I put it into Cycles Render, I just pressed a Use Node button. And then I'm going to put glossy. Uh, these do different things. I don't know what they do. And I'm going to do color RGB. And this is without using nodes. I'm going to make it maybe a purple because I'm very manly like that. And I'm going to go like that. Hopefully this doesn't break. Render. Hey. It's not amazing at the minute. There's nothing for it actually to reflect. But just play around with that. It is, I mean, there's got any type of surface you want. In fact, I will be in the link giving you a, in the link, in the doobie-doo or description. I will be calling it a doobie-doo. Uh, I will put links to a tutori uh, the shade document that show you all the different shaders. Also for gloss is roughness, which I increased here just to make it less shiny. I'm very detached, but okay. So, but in the doobie doo, I'm going to add links to introduce introduction to site cycles tutorial, one from a Blender Guru and one from CG Cookie. I'm also going to add you a link to the Blender Shader page, which will show you all the different shaders and what they look like. I mean, I hope you found this useful. Mm, next week, I'll be doing a car. Probably won't be ma uh, material. Material? Is that even a word? Probably not. But it'll just be a model of a car. I don't know what car. And it will be focused mainly on the model and lighting next week. Lighting is something I will need to improve. And so will cycles. But I can't do both. I mean, the lighting for this is really bad. I've just added in lights all over the place. I mean, this looks nice, but most of it doesn't. Like, here's black. Didn't want that. Black here. Shouldn't have that. Well, that's it. I will be see you, hopefully, oh, see you, talk to you next week, if anyone actually watches these. If there's any models you want me to make, any models you're finding difficult, I might even do a critique if you send me one I don't know how you would send me one through YouTube but if you know how please do okay well talk to you next week